The last two centers are the hardest to solve because you have to solve them at the same time. So what you want to do here is you want you see we have the orange center and the blue center. We have a blue two by two here and an orange two by two here. You want to make them so they are exactly the same. We have the blue two by two and the orange two by two. Now we will proceed and solve the inner center of these. So as you can see, if we were to move this orange up, it would pair with and make a two by two orange here. Now we can move this once, and when we restore the green, it would cause it to pair up and make a two by two orange. Now you see we have a two by two blue, which we can put here. So we can take the two by two blue and move it up like that to solve the blue. Then you can move this back, and this two by two orange can come down and make a three by two orange. Now you have a blue, a full blue row that you can put up here. So what you want to do in this case is you want to take, as you can see there's two oranges here. You want to get this down here, you want to keep this up there. So what you do is you replace the one you want to stay on the top layer and then rotate it twice and then pull it down. Now you should have something that looks like this, where you have all the, the entire inner, inner center solved on both sides except for one piece in the corners. You want to move these closest to each other and then do this move. You move it up, over, back down, over, and then you replace, bring it over twice, and back. And now you should have solved the inner center on the not only the blue, but also the orange. Now that you have the centers of the final two centers solved, you want to move on and begin pairing three of these edges at a time. So, if we look up here, we see we have a blue piece that corresponds and goes here. So if we were to move this up like that, this piece would correspond with that, causing it to solve. Now, what this move is gonna, it's gonna cause us to allow to, us to solve this while keeping a pair solved. So what the move is, is you move it like this, over, down, back up, and then you move the inside back like that. Now, if you look at it again, we have the orange here. You can pair up there. And if you notice, whenever you do it, if this and these do not match, you will it will not solve. It will just solve this and then break this one apart. So when solving these three, you must keep these matching this. It's this one actually has to match that one. Or else you won't really be solving anything. So what you do again is you just pull it up like that, put it over, move the outside two, and then move the third inside one over. And you just want to repeat this until you have all of the edges solved. Now if you're in a position like this, we need a blue to go right up here, and you have no bl spare blues down here, you this one is a bl spare blue here. So what you want to do is you want to turn this down and then give it a different one. So now you have a spare blue here, which can go there, and then you can replace this orange. But if you look, this orange doesn't match. So you take this orange row, you put it in like that. So you have orange matching that, and you have the blue that's gonna go up and replace it. So the blue replaces it, and like that, you have that move. Next you see we need a spare orange but there's no oranges here. So you take this spare orange and you bring it down to this face and put a different one there. The orange corresponds with that piece, this piece, so you have to turn this one time this way, that way, to get it to go there. Now this matches with these, so you can go like that. And just like that you have, now you should have the center solved and every pair of three solved, like that. The final step to solving the, the two centers, the last two centers, is to solve them just as you had solved the centers, the inner centers. So to do this, once again you want to make the match like that, they do, and now you can take this one and put it up there and this orange can come down like that. 
then make them match like this and as you can see if you take it and turn it like this you can get an orange comes down here and the blue and pair up like that now you have these two and these two you want to take these and put them up and these and put them down now when you have solved the cube and it looks something like this you, you perform the following move on it. It is similar, but a little different to the move that we are already learned. And now, as you can see, once you've done that move, you get this. Which, whenever you have this, you just do this move. Down, over, and replace, over to, and down. And there you go. Now you have solved all six centers of the V-Cube 7. Now you will want to move on to edge pairing.